Hello viewers, welcome back to the Multimagic channel again. Hope all the viewers and subscribers are enjoying our journey same as we do. The last couple of videos are really interesting and exciting. The reason is, in the last video we have seen how a simple modeler approach for converting an MP4 to MP3 enabled us to integrate this backend code into different platforms with minimal changes more efficiently. We have seen how this backend code can be integrated into a Windows MFC application and we have also seen how this backend code has been integrated into the Android app and how seamlessly you can pass the parameters from the UI to the backend code which does the process from MP4 to MP3. So this is what I am mentioning. So that we just followed a two-way modular approach of course down the line the second block we will divide it into sub different sub blocks so for now we have block one which will just take all the arguments from the command line or it will take all the arguments from GUI and then process it and then check whether all the arguments are right or wrong and then it will pass it to the second block so second block is called a media suite block in this we have a translator sub block which actually translates these input parameters into the FFmpeg constants and check okay whether all the constants are good or bad and then if it, if it is good then it will pass all the things down to the process block in the FFmpeg constants format and that way it is much more uh, efficient so now with now in this video we will see how this two-way modeler approach helped us to enable a different for file format support. So, so far we are talking about MP4 to MP3, one for only that particular conversion. So now we have enabled multiple formats in the sense you can convert this API to MP3, you can convert MKV to MP3, you can convert MOV to MP3 and all this turn into MP3 and again one more series all this turn into AAC which is a famous audio format again and also you can convert all these kind of video formats into audio formats called FLAC so total we are supporting currently 30 formats so in general if there is no modular approach it will be a bit tough to manage all this uh, controlling of the parameters since we followed a two-way approach things became much easy for us uh, which enabled us to do this in, in a quite a good efficient time so these are all the video formats and these three are the audio formats uh, and later we will add more audio formats and now we will see how what are the just which minimal code changes how did we achieve this so when we are talking about the minimal code changes so let's go to our code so as so first the comes into the picture is arc parser okay so in the arc parser we have expanded our parser list telling okay so now our parser supports all these input files we support AVA, mkv mov wmv flap flv webm 3gp and all these video formats we support and these audio and we need to convert this input into the output so the output here is 0 means none and 1 is uh, mp3 and 2 is aac and 9 is flag so how we define these numbers so if you can go to this mm struts.h in this struts we have an enum so we have been currently we enable this for mp3 we already know and we are currently supporting this aac and we are also supporting the flag so these are the enums coming from our uh, structures okay so now from the command line or from the GUI we'll be receiving all these inputs uh, a combination of this input and we will validate this combination and after validating the combination we will be sending it to the mm translator so in the mm translator we will just check okay whether all these options are correct if it is correct so if it is mp4 we just mention that our product uh, i mean sorry if it is an mp3 file and uh, we support mp3 i mean if the input is mp4 we can convert the output type to mp3 
based upon the codec the number it gave if output type is 2 then it is AAC and if its output type is 9 then it is flag so you can see here so whatever parameters we are passing from the command line or from you we are converting into a spec which is understandable to our FFmpeg process block so this is the spec flag uh, and then uh, MAAC and MP3 so now so once this translations are done and you get all the desired metadata you pass it to this media suit block so in the media suit block there is one more kind of translation needed uh, in, in the inside the process block so actually these converse translations also should be moved to the arcs translation but just for simplicity I mean to the translator block not here we will just move it in uh, later and uh, uh, explain it later but currently uh, we are uh, converting a one more translation so if if it is selected mp3 then the internal codec id we will be using is mp3 if it is selected aac then the internal codec id will be is aac and if it is internal block is uh, if it is flag then the use this particular uh, audio codec so you can see we did not change any of the code all we are adding is this if else block the supporting block the supporting codec id is needed be received from the aux parser and we also enable the different uh, input files that can be taken okay so now so now i hope you got you you realized how this two-way model approach helped us in achieving this very big future in a much more simple and efficient way so now let's quickly look at the what we can do with the actual conversions now let's see one of the example so I have given our extractor file type is 1 I mean function type is 1 which is conversion and the file path so this time instead of mp4 I passed avi and 1 means which is mp3 so which as we saw in the spec so now if I enter you can see it is converting this into an mp3 file okay so done here you go now if I instead of AVI let me pick another video format so MPV so we are converting MKV into MP3 so let's see okay so this this conversion is also done so now let's pick one more video format uh, let's pick MOV so this MOV sorry Okay, MOV icon output type. Sorry, it is one. Now click when. Okay, there you go. So now, if you can track the output folders here, you see here. Yeah, there you go. You have converted our ABI to MP3. Here we have converted MKV to MP3, and MOV we have converted to MP3. So we are converting a different video formats to EMP3 so these all the other formats are also working well and good uh, for simplicity I have just shown the three formats and also let's see into EAS you know once so for all 44 of these three things so so now the same command AVI let's give two two means convert to EAS format okay so it is converting into AAC you can see here these are the D4 specs these are the encoder specs these are all the IDs we will be using and it is resample and output files are written so now convert instead of AVI pick MKV to AAC okay so the input file is read it has gone all the deeper encoder, encoder specs done so now instead of MKV you touch select MOV so now Q2 which is convert MOV to AAC so this is also happening in the background yeah so now you can see here now AVI is converted to AAC and MKV is converted to AAC and MOV is converted to AAC so like this we have already tested all the formats you can see here all the 10 formats are converted to mp3 and here the, the uh, 3gp for I mean like uh, AA, this, all that formats all the different video formats are converted to AAC and here all the different kind of video formats are converted to flag so like that all these we can easily plug and play with this two-way design approach as we discussed
So now I will also quickly show you how this is useful in integrating into the MFC also. So now here I have just copied all the files like media suit files, all the updated files which, which have recent changes to the uh, MFC backend code. So now the only change we made after the copying is we just enable the input to allow all kind of files so this is earlier it is only mp4 now you know we are allowing multiple video files but just telling that allow multiple video files so now if you can come here and click here so if you see the app is running it launched so now it's again so input file is still the compression conversion so now we have the different options see these are the different file formats i have so mp4 to mp3 we have already seen so now let's at least pick this uh, mpg file mpeg file if you select this mpeg file and then I select ok come to mp3 instead of mp3 we will select AAC so now uh, this button should be updated it's not convert to mp3 it is convert to AAC actually we will update so I have clicked this so it start the background is it is in progress ok conversion is done so let's quickly go to the file explorer and check what is happening here so there you go if you go to d drive and then you check the sorry if you go to the downloads folder yep here is the one it converts from mpg to our uh, oeg file okay so like that you can convert any formats let's give one more option here so this is our input dialog box so now instead of this button i will give the flb which is a flash version so now i will convert this into nine nine means flag so flag convert convert and mov to flag convert okay it's done so now again if you check the downloads folder there you go i have got this flb file i mean the flag flag to to the flag file flv to flag conversion okay so now you can see how this powerful two-way i'm keep on iterating since why it is, is a powerful powerful in the sense see the development process is very smooth now see if any if the product is growing big and if any uh, futures are coming in daily on a weekly basis it's must to ensure we do with the minimal code changes so if any future of it in any code if or any development activity it should the design should be in such a way it should be achieved with minimalistic code changes and also it is easily understandable easily testable easily maintainable so to gain all these advantages the back-end design is very much needed luckily we have got a very good mentors to help us in achieving this design approach so in the coming videos also we will be introducing our different members of the team to you to see how from to explain this product and vision from their point of view so now we have seen how this uh, modular approach helped us to achieve these futures on uh, uh, Ubuntu as well as uh, MFC application now my other teammate will explain how to do this for Android how this integration is smooth for Android yep yeah now he will continue thank you funny hello everyone I have just migrated to Android so basically I made some UI changes and added CPP files to my react native library and I called the related APIs in the front end and that's it it started working let me show you first we'll press the convert video to audio card and then we'll pick a file and in settings we'll choose the output type and let's press convert and that's all we did our conversion is done that's the benefit of using a modular approach